Have you ever come up short on materials? Have you ever had too much materials at the end of a job? Would you like to have a professional looking estimate and contract to hand your customers instead of a handwritten one that looks unprofessional? Now you can with DecoCon Estimating Software from Depiction Software. In this movie we'll show you just how easy it is to create accurate estimates and great looking contracts in a matter of minutes. First, you start by selecting the product formula that you would like to use. These product formulas are totally customizable, meaning that you can change the picture, the name, and all the products that are used in a formula. So let's use the first one here as an example. So you click on it, and it brings you to this screen here. The first thing you would do is select what area of the project this formula is going to be used for. We have default settings in here for driveways, backyards, pools, but of course this can be edited. So we'll select this as a driveway. Then you type in the square footage of the job and click calculate. Now as you can see in a matter of seconds it's calculated how much grout mix you need. We need 18 36 pound bags of grout mix. We'll need 18 50 pound bags of texture mix and 18 gallons of liquid release. So as you can see, all the products you'll need to order to fulfill this job is calculated for you here. Now, the reality is you'll probably have extras that you'll need to add to this estimate. For example, let's say that there are cracks in the driveway that need to be repaired. So what you do is you click here to add new, let's bring this back on the screen, and it's a preparation phase. And we'll go here to the pull down menu and click on crack repair. Then you would type in how many lineal feet of crack repair is needed for this job. The price would automatically be set in here for you, but you can also change this on the fly. Let's say they're big cracks and we're going to be charging $4 a lineal foot. Then you click add extra to the estimate and it adds it down here at the bottom. You can also specify what pattern, whether it be stencil or a stamp pattern, you would like to use on this driveway. To do that, again, you go here to Add New. You click on the name of the pattern here. Let's say it's going to be a basket weave. A picture shows up here on the right. And then you click on Add the Pattern. The square footage is automatically calculated here for you, but you could change this. Let's say you don't want the whole job to be uh, with that pattern, just maybe 2,000 square feet of it. You can also adjust the price on the fly here. Then you can distinguish what colors this pattern is going to be. So let's say the texture coat is going to be an antique rose. So we've added that to the colors. And then our grout color is going to be a different color. and Say it's going to be antique white. And then we'll add a release color here of, say, black. So now we've distinguished the pattern and all the colors that go to that pattern. We click Add Patterns and Colors, and now that's added to the estimate. As you can see, there's a little thumbnail of that pattern and the colors are distinguished here and how many square feet we're going to be placing of that pattern. So now basically your estimate is complete. It's that quick and that simple. You're ready to print it out. All you have to do is go to the print icon and you have a couple choices on how you want the printout to look. So we're going to pick on the contractor version first. This is the one that may be for you and your crew. This was the one that gives you the listing of all the materials needed and the quantities, what pattern you've used in this uh, job, and any extras that may be there. Your logo would also appear on the printout because that would replace this demo logo here and your information would be here also with your email address and phone numbers. But let's say you didn't want the homeowner to see all this information. They just need the basics. In that case, you would click on Area for Customer. It gives you the same information, the product that you're using, the square footage, and what area, which would be the driveway, the base price, $7 a square foot, with the total over here. Then it shows them what pattern they're getting and what colors and how many square feet of that pattern. And any extras would be listed here, again, with your logo and information at the bottom. So now I just showed you how to create a simple estimate. But let's say a project, which we call maybe the Jones Residence, or it could be a commercial job, say you're doing one for Walmart. And each area has a different product that's going to be used on it. One may be a stamp texture, one might be stencil, or one might be just a knockdown finish. It doesn't really matter. You could save a project with multiple areas. In this example, we have a backyard, a driveway, and a patio area. To bring back up, say, the patio area, that we have the driveway selected here, you simply click on it, 
click OK, and it brings up that area. You could go in and edit this. Say they don't want to do 4,500 square feet. It turns out they only want to cover 3,500 square feet of that. So all you have to do is update that, and we'll save it. So now that's been edited in this job. But one of the great features is when you go to print now, we'll go here to view, and we're going to print out this project. What it does is it gives you all three areas for this project broken down on a printout. So we got our backyard, our driveway, our patio, the square footage, the pricing, and a breakdown for each area, all on one sheet of paper. Well, it may not fit on one sheet of paper, but in one printout. The program will also print out a contract for you. So when you go over here to your printing options, you pick Customer Contract. And it will automatically populate the contract with the customer's information and address. You can see that it will have all three areas for the project in here, their square footage, their pricing. Then you have all your legal jargon that you are able to edit yourself. So once you edit it in the program, it will always be there for you. So you're able to print out a contract in a matter of seconds. Again, down at the bottom, it shows each area, what uh, pattern is going to be placed in there, what colors those patterns are going to be, a breakdown of pricing for each one, and a grand total. All that is printed out in a matter of seconds. And of course, your logo up here at the top. The program will also print out a purchase order. Let's say you just closed this project. We have the backyard, the driveway, and the pool area, and you want to order all the materials for this project. So all you have to do now is click on Purchase Order, and it accumulates all the materials for the whole project on one page so that you can fax this over to your supplier and get your materials ordered. The program also helps you organize your projects and the ordering of your materials. For example, let's say you gave an estimate on Monday, but it wasn't approved, and on Tuesday you gave another estimate that wasn't approved, but on Wednesday, both of them called you up and said they wanted to move forward. So now what you could do is they would be in the unapproved category. You want to shift them into the category that materials need to be ordered for. To do that, you simply select on the name of the project, go down here to order materials now and click go. It shifts it from the pre-approved or pre-sale category to the order materials category. And the program will also accumulate all say five or six jobs you may have uh, gotten approved that week so that you can order your materials all at once so that you may get a discount for shipping or quantity of materials. So now you've seen how easy the program is to use and what it does, the question in your mind should be now, well how do I get all my materials in there and customize it for my company because I do things differently. We've accounted for that and what you could do is you go into the control panel and this is where you're able to change everything that's in the program. You can change the contract and its content, you can change your materials and your product formulas. Let's show you how easy it is to change something. Let's take the contract for example. So we'll click here on contract details and here you have the different sections of the contract and you can go in and edit any of those. For example, let's say down here at the bottom, we give you a customer's name in here, but this is going to be, say, your name. You would just type in your name here down at the bottom, and it's that easy to change it. You click Update Contract, and now the contract would be updated with that information. Now, the other thing we've put in the program, you see these question marks next to every feature in the control panel. If you're not sure how to do something, all you have to do is click on the question mark, and it will launch a movie, much like the one you're watching right now, and you can go through these movies and as you can see here it's showing you how to edit a contract and it's giving you much more detail than I just did but it will go through there and teach you how to change each one of the features in the program so there are no manuals to read all you have to do is watch the movie and really watch the movie right before you want to make your change so now you've seen how easy it is to use DecoCon Estimator, why don't you try it out for yourself? At the end of this movie, there will be a link, and you can click on that. It will take you to the Estimator online, because it also runs on the Internet. And just go in and try and create an estimate. If you want to learn more about the program and actually how to use it, click on the Help icon on the Internet version, and it will also play movies teaching you in detail how to create an estimate. Watch tutorial one, then tutorial two.